how does the baud rate generator actually um, works? Well, the baud rate generator, if we take a look at the code in here, it's something that should tick at a very specific time and it tick is just a timer. And yes, it is a timer. That means we will utilize a modular counter and it is exactly the same as uh, any previous modular counter you have seen. However, the um, maximum value it should reach, we're just gonna put it as an input as opposed to a parameter. And this way we can dynamically change it because we want to change the baud rate based on how the user actually generates it. So what's the agreed upon baud rate like we can we can have it differently so the most important thing in this particular code which is maybe it's not new but it's the most important it's actually that divisor in here dvsr stands for divisor so that divisor we decided to make it 11 bits so it accommodates the maximum uart baud rate that we have you have a bunch of numbers actually it accommodate the divisor not the baud rate so as it turns out you don't provide it with the baud rate you do provide it with something related to it which is the divisor which i'm going to cover very shortly and another thing that I want you to pay attention to is in here, generally speaking, if it's actually up to a divisor, what you do is you test if um, the last value is actually divisor minus one. In here, um, to reduce a little bit of hardware complexity, we will not take that minus one. We'll just, uh, we'll just assume that this particular mod, it's a modulo DVSR plus one. So it's a modulo counter for DVSR plus one. It's not only DVSR, so it's counting just one. How important is that? Well, it's important in computing the um, divisor value based on the baud rate. So let's talk very briefly about it. So how do we do this? Okay, so this is from the beginning till the end of those 16 ticks. So I want it to happen 16 ticks. Remember, it's like the baud rate should be up to 16 and whatnot. This is where the number 16 is gonna come from here. So the baud rate is gonna tick, so it's, it's, got, it's gonna have to tick at a very specific period of time, and that period of time is actually from here to here, and it will do it after V plus one, assuming that divisor is V, okay? So because it's a modulo divisor plus one or V plus one. Okay, how long do I want this particular period to be? Well, B, if B is my baud rate generator, Okay, so 16 times B is actually the period. This is our, or the frequency at which, okay? Remember the baud rate is something per second. So it's um, like, for example, 6,900 per second or bits per second. So in here, because it's a frequency, we're just gonna take it, the flip of it to make it the period. So this one from here to here is one over 16 times that. It's actually the smallest tick I want based on that baud rate. Okay, so in short, what you can actually take a look at this uh, here. What I'm doing is I'm actually saying, okay, I want my V plus one to be that particular value divided by one over F. Like if you actually also do it in terms of periods, for example, or frequencies, you can rearrange it and you'll see um, F is actually the system frequency. Okay, so if you divide this by that, it will tell you exactly how much is V is. My ultimate goal is to figure out what is that value that I have to provide in here so I get the exact baud rate. And this is the equation that gives me that. A little bit of manipulation, you'll see um, if I have 100 megahertz in here and I decided that this should be 96 uh, bits per second, which is also another frequency. And of course I multiply by 16 because I want that to be divided by that. And uh, I'm adding the negative one in here because I because this modulo is divisor plus one. So my ultimate goal is the following. So if, in order for us to get an exact baud rate, which is B, all I have to do is figure out what V is and provide it to this baud rate generator and that will be it. So let's see an example of that. So here's my equation in here. So I want to find the value of V for that particular baud rate, the very common one, which is 9,600 bits per second. So all you have to do is just plug in some numbers. So V becomes F, which is 100 megahertz, okay, times 10 to the power six, for example, and divided by 16 times B, which is 9,600, okay, and then you subtract one because because we're doing that complexity in here. And once you do that, I believe you'll get the final number of how much is that divisor is. So let me just calculate that for you. And then um, number happened to be 650 point something. So about 650 and that's about it. So where did these, like if you go to the code, you'll see that we have decided that divisor should be 11 bits. Where did this come from? Well, um, if you look at the baud rates and the maximum baud rate you can generate and you calculate this, the number it, it has in here, we'll need about 11 bits to fit in that divisor. And that's where this came from.